everybody it's a class of your paper number cc403 the title of the paper is world literature okay in this paper in unit 3 you have apollo coelho's book the alchemist okay so today we are going to learn about apollo coelho's book the alchemist just a minute yes this is a picture of our writer polo coelho polo coelho is a brazilian writer and is such a great writer that this book has been translated into 70 languages of the world okay the details of the book are see polo coelho his full name as i have told you is polo coelho de souza he was a brazilian lyricist and a novelist he was also a lyricist he used to compose songs in portuguese language so particularly he wrote this book in portuguese language and then after it was translated into english language he was born in rio de janeiro it's a very have you heard the name of the city rio de janeiro rio de janeiro it's a very famous city very popular city it's popular for for the world summits most of the summits of the world particularly on pollution on environment they are held there at rio de janeiro so rio de janeiro is uh, one of the most popular cities of brazil he was born in rio de janeiro on the date is 24th august 1947 okay and see he has an instinct from the very beginning of his little age that he wants to be a writer that was his dream that anyhow he wants to be a writer and see we find a kind of similarity between his dream to be a writer and here in this novels hero santiago who also wants to complete his dream or wants to follow his personal legend okay so here we we find a very close similarity between polo coelho's life and the life of the hero of the novel santiago okay so that is there and see he worked at various professions as i have told you he worked at various professions he was a clerk at the at the lawyer's office then after he was a song composer he composed songs he even composed songs for one of the well known actresses of the brazilian movie or brazilian cinema okay. but he failed he failed in all these careers he did not achieve much in any of these professions so he practiced his hand for these various professions like uh, clerk like uh, uh, composer of songs but he did not get success so then after see he decided to what he decide he, he was he decided to go to a law school but he was also actually his father at first sent him to a seminary school to a religious school but he was not comfortable there he was not interested in the religious teachings so he left that school and then after he was sent to a law school even in law school he was dropped out there to drop out means drop out you know what is drop out drop out means he was not able to complete the whole course successfully so he was dropped out there from the law school and then after he left his study and he went on a tour he visited north africa he visited the another mexico another cities like mexico countries like and north america and etc and 
he told a lot to the whole world okay then after see in 1972 he returned to spain he returned to brazil sorry not spain spain is actually spain our hero belongs to spain so he returned to brazil and then after there is a turning point in his life see one particular event created a great turning point in his life and that event was there that after returning to his country brazil what he did he see in 1974 sorry this is uh, in between in between one another incident happened and that is that in 1974 he was briefly imprisoned for his alleged alleged not proved not proved subversive activities against the brazilian government not proved but he was alleged alleged means he was accused of those accusations are not proved okay so he was imprisoned imprisoned means he was sent to jail he was sent to jail for some time and then see after his release yes after his release from jail see he embarked to a new travels in europe and africa and then after in 1986 this is a turning point in 1986 he was on a big tour or on a long tour on the route of the the name of the route is also santiago si here the hero of the novel is also santiago the hero of his novel the alchemist is also santiago and the name of this route on which he traveled is also santiago the full name is santiago the compostela and it was a tour of 500 miles that means 800 kilometers it was a very long tour and this path this route is the very ancient route like our see for example our route from here to vishnu devi okay we are people many people of gujarat see from the far end of the gujarat they travel to ambaji that that is known as pilgrimage or pilgrim pilgrim means yatralu and pilgrimage their religious journey so here see this particular route is known for the religious journey okay so he and this particular route which is known for its religious journey is a route for the people to travel from france to spain this is a route particularly for the people who travel from france to spain and as i have told you that his tour on this route was a great turning point in his life how see when he was walking through the road suddenly he had a spiritual awakening what is spiritual awakening spiritual awakening means what spiritual that means adhyatmik awakening that means jagruti spiritual awakening he found an inner light divya prakash comes from within na andar thi ek divya prakash ana avto de and this eternal light this eternal light this spiritual awakening has given him a knowledge of something and with this spiritual awakening he changed the whole discourse of his life the whole discourse of his life is changed what is this spiritual awakening according to that spiritual awakening he was told by the heaven by the god that you continue your journey you please continue hunting your dreams one day or other you will be succeed what will be told by god bhagwan dwara su ke avam aavyo ne that you continue hunting your dreams you continue following your dreams you continue pursuing your dreams one day or other you will be succeed 
तारू जो ड्रीम है एने पकड़ी राख एने फॉलो कर एक दिवस ते जरूर सफलता एंड वॉट वॉज हिज ड्रीम हिज ड्रीम वॉज टू बी ए राइट एंड देन आफ्टर आफ्टर रिटर्निंग फ्रॉम दैट रिलीजियस टूर ही ट्राइड हिज हैंड एट राइटिंग एंड सोन सी सी द रिजल्ट एक्चुअली In 1986, एटी सिक्स ही स्टार्टेड इज जर्नी इन नाइनटीन एटी सेवन ही प्रैक्टिस हिज हैंड एट राइटिंग एंड इन नाइनटीन एटी एट ही पब्लिश दिस बुक द आल्केमिस्ट एक्चुअली इट्स समथिंग लाइक अ मैजिक सी सॉरी इट्स समथिंग लाइक अ मैजिक वॉट एपन सी ही पब्लिश दिस बुक इन ऑनली और सॉरी नॉट पब्लिश ही रॉड दिस बुक only in 2 weeks only in 2 weeks it's not possible to write a book of 170 pages in 2 weeks it's not possible it is only possible or it was only possible because of that divine inspiration because of that divine inspiration so he believed that something is working in him something divine is working in him and then after he started following his dream he continue writing novels and at the interval of every one or two year he published a novel and see soon in a year the novel became international best seller book international best seller book and the book was translated into 70 languages of the world how much recognition he achieved within a time span of 2 years so this is all about the the spiritual awakening of the writer and about the publication because see it has a very close connection the spiritual awakening of the writer and the publication of the book the alchemist it has a very close connection so it is very much necessary for us to understand the life of polo coelho and what to say see uh while walk yes spiritual awakening see what yeah, yes we have to understand the spiritual awakening during this spiritual awakening what he experienced that i had a work and i was working earlier what he said i had a work he had a work work of a song composer and he was working i had a money he had a money i had a person whom i loved he had a person whom he loved he had his beloved okay he had a person whom he loved he had everything what he wanted but he was not happy he was not why he was not happy one thing was not there that he was not able to fulfill his dream and in this awakening he was told by god that yes you continue your effort you will be successful in fulfilling your dream so that was his spiritual awakening and then see mm, uh, see it happened so fast that yes 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 now this thing he has written in his book that because he was interviewed by a person by a journalist and asked to him that how you complete this book so fast how it's possible so what the answer is important what is his answer it is already the book was already in my written in my soul soul atma it was already written in my soul so i have to just reveal it i have to just express it but the book was already there in my soul so that was his answer okay so that is there so these things are attached with the publication of the alchemist now next yes as far as his literary career is concerned then after as i have told you see when the spiritual awakening happened in 1986 but before that he tried 
his hand to write a book and in 1982 he wrote a book hell activities but he was failed he was not able to create impact of his book on the readers on the audience he was failed as a writer as an author but only after 1986 after that spiritual awakening that he became successful as a writer what happened see in 1987 the pilgrimage the pilgrimage is a book in which he has narrated his all the experience of the spiritual awakening of this divine light that is narrated there in the pilgrimage next book is the alchemist in 1988 then hippy then the fifth mountain then the 11 minutes and then the um, the uh, what is this yes the warrior of light okay that is there next now let's come to the book let's come to the book the alchemist actually we have two books of the same title two different books one is is the this alchemist written by paulo coelho and another popular book of the same title the alchemist is written by ben johnson you might have heard about it ben johnson a writer of post elizabethan period english writer ben johnson is an english writer and he is a brazilian writer ben johnson he was an ex he was an expert he was an exponent of comedy of humors you might have studied comedy of humors so the alchemist written by ben johnson is what type of comedy comedy of humors but here we have a here we have a novel here we have a novel and that was the drama that was the drama written by ben johnson okay so we have two books in english literature one is translated book from portuguese into english by paulo coelho and another is a drama of the same title the alchemist okay now see uh, before we yes the alchemist it's a novel by brazilian author originally written in in which language portuguese it is written in portuguese and then see in it was published in 1988 and i have already told you that it is translated into more than 70 languages of the world and relatively it is very short generally no generally novel is more than 200 pages but this novel is very short it contains only 169 or 170 pages now see before we go to the novel itself let's first try to understand the title of the novel what is the title the alchemist what is the meaning of the word alchemist actually the word alchemist comes from the word alchemy what is alchemy alchemy means what alchemy alchemist is a noun alchemist is a noun and alchemy is a verb to alchemy to alchemy means to convert it's actually scientific term it's a word related to science alchemy means to con- means a process a scientific process by which a person generally a scientist can convert any base metal into gold this process is known as alchemy what is alchemy a scientific process of converting any base metal into gold koi pan base metal base metal kone kehva base metal mool dhatu like like iron like lead like aluminium okay convert one who has an or the process by which one convert that base metal into gold ये लोखंड मधे शू बना सोनू 
एल्युमिनियम मध्य शू बना दे सो दैट होल प्रोसेस साइंटिफिक प्रोसेस इज नॉन एज एन आलकेमी एंड अ पर्सन हु नोज दिज हु इज एक्सपर्ट हु नोज दिस प्रोसेस इज नॉन एज द आलकेमिस्ट अंडरस्टैंड सो द आलकेमिस्ट मीन्स अ पर्सन हु हैज एन एबिलिटी to convert a base metal into gold clear actually in india also this type of uh, process was going on in india in middle ages in middle ages that means in madhya yug in middle ages in india it is already written in our shastras in our vedas that some rishis have the knowledge how to convert a base metal into gold and in middle ages also there in the western countries like brazil spain and england they have some persons like that who have an ability to convert the base metal into gold so understand alchemist title is clear okay now after getting clues about the title let's go to see here what is alchemy you see the picture this is a process see in this picture we have a process of converting a base metal into gold okay next see here alchemists have two main goals one i have explained that to convert a base metal into gold but another thing is that it is also known as the elixir of life the elixir of life that is liquid to ama it is shown here see liquid is shown so what type of liquid is this liquid is known as the elixir of life the elixir of life means we have the same thing in our indian culture ancient indian culture what is this by drinking this particular uh, liquid one can be immortal one can be immortal amar bani jaye na aaj e piye je vyakti e kevo bani jaye amar bani jaye so jiva amrut amrut for example kya thi aayu hato samudra manthan vakte vishnu bhagwan na hath ma aayu hato na amrut jiva amrut there was a fight between the devas and danavas for what sana madam there was a fight fight for the amrut which the which the found from the base of the sea here the same liquid the same chemical okay so that is known in english as the elixir of life and the another important thing is here the philosopher stone the philosopher stone which can convert the base metal or which by a touch of this particular stone anything can be converted into metal if you touch a piece of iron with that philosopher stone that piece of iron will be converted into gold philosopher stone what is how do we know it in india as how do we know it in india yes parasmani that is parasmani so the philosopher stone means parasmani and the elixir of life that means jiva amrut okay these two things are connected with the process of the alchemy clear okay now the setting of the novel the title is clear now let's go to the setting of the novel setting means what location very good setting and the time it is very much important for us to know about the setting and about the time because before we go to the novel proper we have to know that that at what time the novel is written and the description in the novel is of what time so here see as far as the setting of the novel is concerned the novel is set in andalusia andalusia is an area of spain which is generally known as the green pastures green pastures pastures means what lila maidano green pastures that area is known in spain as andalusia so 
the whole story not the whole but the part of it main part of it takes place or the beginning of the story takes place in an area of andalusia because the our hero the boy santiago is from andalusia so we have in the beginning andalusia then tarifa tarifa is a well known city of north spain okay in andalusia so we have a background of tarifa city then the hero moves from tarifa to tangier that is in morocco that is in north africa then we have uh, al fayum to the pyramids of egypt so all these places are covered by the writer okay so static time now what is the time of the novel the time of the novel it is not exactly given in the novel but we can assume that that the time of the novel is before the invention of the automobiles like cars buses railways etc because in the whole novel we never find anything like buses like cars like railways okay even motorcycles are not there camels are there carts are there it means we can assume that the time of the novel is before the invention of the automobiles and but not before the invention of guns guns are already there there is an army and the army men have the guns so the time is after the invention of guns and before the invention of the automobiles clear this is the time now let's go to the characters of the novel the important characters of the novel one of the most important character of the novel is santiago who is our hero santiago see this name i have told you is also the name of the route which route the ancient route by walking on which polo coelho had a spiritual awakening so here see the same name is given to his hero that is santiago santiago he is an andalusian boy he is living in an area of andalusia so he is an andalusian shepherd boy he is a shepherd boy okay he he belongs to a very poor family what he has or what they had his parents said is nothing but some sheep all this character directly or indirectly they help our hero santiago in fulfilling his dream in reaching to his target okay what was his target the pyramids of is it okay that i'll tell you later on third character is the englishman the englishman is a character who meets our hero santiago when he was walking on his on his search for the treasure the englishman is a very good person he helps a lot he lends books to santiago for reading and he tells him about the alchemist actually the englishman is there karwa see here the word karwa karwa is actually an urdu word but is accepted in english as it is okay many like words like sahib nawab karwa all these words are accepted in english as it is bungalow for example our indian word it is also accepted in english you will find in english dictionary the word like bungalow nawab sahib word like karwa karwa is actually an urdu word it has its roots in persian language okay so he joins the karwa and there he meets an englishman and this englishman teaches him a lot about the alchemist about the worldly things and he lends him books 
he lends him so many books so englishman next character is the fatima fatima is a beautiful girl who belongs to al fayum oasis uh, south oasis of egypt and he is a sorry she is a girl with whom our hero santiago falls in love he falls in love with fatima and he wants to marry her that is there then i'll tell you the story about it next character is the alchemist the alchemist he is a person who is 200 years old he is a person to whom the englishman wants to meet and since last 10 years he is trying to meet this alchemist but it is only because of the santiago that he is able to meet this that alchemist so our hero santiago help or helps englishman to meet the alchemist next character is the shopkeeper he is a very kind person the shopkeeper he is a very kind person he helps our hero santiago when he is robbed of everything when he has no money this shopkeeper crystal merchant he helps he offers a job and he considers our hero santiago as a good omen here see this some words are important here in this story words like uh, personal legend legend means what legend means dant katha but here personal legend okay next is personal legend means here the personal dreams to which a person always wants to fulfill that is personal legend next important word is discourse okay so here see this crystal merchant considers the boy as a good omen omen another important word omen means what we say good omen and bad omen shukan afsukan so he considers the boy santiago as a good omen in his shop because after arriving the boy santiago he earns a lot who the crystal merchant or the shopkeeper next is okay the characters list is over sorry now let's go to the plot of the novel the story of the novel as far as the story of the novel is concerned see setting we have seen we have seen the time we have seen the background we have seen the characters now what is the plot it's very interesting story i don't know what is the time but uh, it's very interesting story if you want to listen are you ready okay see the plot the plot of the novel the plot of the novel as i have told you it's a story which moves around the main hero of the novel is santiago the whole story moves around santiago santiago as i have told you that he is an andalusian boy andalusian boy he was studying in a seminary school like our writer polo coelho he was studying in a seminary seminary means religious school but he was not comfortable there this santiago was not comfortable in religious school and he told his father that that i don't want to study in this school then his father asked him what do you want to do his, he he answered that that i love traveling and i want to travel so his father agreed okay if you want to travel but i had i have no money i cannot give you money i have no money sanjay said okay then his father told him that okay i'll give you some ships because what they have is ships they are shepherds so okay i give you some ship and you can along with the ship you can continue your journey you can start your journey and that ship will help you 
how by selling the wool of the sheep you will have some money okay so that that will be enough for your food and drinking that is how see santiago starts his journey from his home his father permitted him for the journey and see he knows well that the nearby city is tarifa it's very near so from his farm house or from there from his fields he started his journey along with some sheep but before he reaches to tarifa it was very dark it was very da- dark and it was night almost so he decided to stay there on the way he was finding a place there a place to stay for a night and suddenly he found an old church there he found an old church there he goes there and yes he decided okay this is a suitable place for me to pass a night stay for a night and he see decided to stay there it was a very comfortable place for his ships also it was a big compound the church has a big compound so he put his ships there in a compound and then he decided to sleep under a huge tree like our banyan tree banyan tree that means wood there was huge tree in the compound of the church like our banyan tree and he decided to sleep under a tree he was sleeping under a tree and at night see like see now you can connect the story with the life of the writer paulo coelho and with the life of santiago what happened see he was sleeping very calmly and suddenly he has a dream in his sleep and in the sleep in that particular dream a small boy comes there in his dream a small boy is playing with his ships and that small boy is telling him something he listened carefully that small boy is telling him that that you will find a great treasure there you are a lucky fellow you continue your journey one day you will find a great treasure and he see the small boy is about to show the location of that treasure that where he will find the treasure and suddenly he wakes up and what happened when we wake up the dream is shattered apne jaagi jaiye ungma to shu thaye apnu sapnu je che tuti jaye but see now he comes to know that that this small boy who was there in his dream was telling him telling him about the treasure khazano that he will find a great treasure some day during his journey now he thought about the dream and he thought that he had many such dreams even before he had many such dreams even before so now he is perplexed he is puzzled what to do what to do now he becomes restless uncomfortable now suddenly he remembers that yes i know a woman in the tarifa city who can help me regarding my dreams she will explain me my dreams and next day he reaches to tarifa he goes to meet that egyptian woman that is actually gypsy gypsy that woman is gypsy woman gypsy habsi a black gypsy woman he goes to that woman he informs her about her about his dreams and tells everything about that and he even tells that that he had many such recurring dreams earlier also ava sapna emne pehla pan aaya tha the same kind of so now the gypsy woman okay she was a soothsayer soothsayer means 
Bhavishyavita. She was a soothsayer. She says that, yes, I know. I can explain your dreams, but on one condition. On one condition. Which condition? That you will have to give me a part, one-tenth part. How much part? One-tenth, the small bag. One-tenth part of your treasure to be. Tara khajana no, the small bag kone apko par se mane. Then I will explain you about these dreams. Excitedly, Santiago agreed. Okay, I am agree. I'll give you one tenth part of this treasure. But please tell me, tell me quickly that where this treasure is. The gypsy woman says that the treasure lies there at the base of the pyramids of Egypt. Pyramids of Egypt, base, niche. Egypt na je pyramid che, ena niche tarwa khajano rehlo che. You start your journey there and get it. Okay, I am waiting for it. Okay, but Santiago left the place of that gypsy woman, but he was he was not comfortable. He finds it totally illogical. He says that no, it is not possible that I have a dream about the treasure and the treasure is there in a far land in Egypt. It is not possible to reach there. Somehow he was walking in the market, in the market of Tarifa and he finds an old man. The old man in, in fact approaches him. He, he comes to Santiago. You are looking very perplexed. You are looking very puzzled. What is the problem? Santiago says that I have this problem. I have a, I have dreams. And this woman says that it is there. The treasure is there. But suddenly, Santiago realizes that why should I say everything to this fellow, to this old man? He feared. Then the Melchizedek, Melchizedek, he introduced himself. He actually is in a long gown. He is in a long black gown. It lamba black gown very low. So he says that I am a king of Salem. I am a king of Salem. And I help the per I always help the person who wants to follow their personal reason. And you are the person. I chose you to guide you. I am guiding you that please don't be fearful, continue your journey. Here see, the story is full of lessons. The first lesson is taught by this old band, the king Melchizedek by to the Santiago. What is that lesson? If you have a desire, the first lesson, if you have a desire to achieve something, I can understand the position of the audience, okay? You are not comfortable. Time kettle sir? Thank you time. Somebody is sleeping, she is in and a kubunga, a bow mad pakadin. Equivar to am thank you, sir. 